What is up you guys, my name is Kikama, welcome to today's video, and in today's video, as you guys can see, we're in, we are in the Toronto Thunderbirds All Subscriber Team series, and this is season 2, and I believe it's episode 4, but instead of it being a live stream, we, as I told you guys, I'm just going to start recording it instead of turning it into streams, because when it becomes a stream, it's super long and takes forever to watch, so I'm changing it to recording, because why not? So to start off today, we, we are going to be in, well, just be starting off with the decision goals and all that bs which doesn't really take too long but as you guys saw last year we made the super bowl i'm not going to put it as make it to the super bowl because i'm not i'm not too confident that i'll make it there again even though we did make it last year but we should have lost a couple of those games in the playoffs so i'm going to keep it at like a i'll put it at eight wins i think that's in the halfway mark of where we were last year because we were 13 and three i believe which isn't bad by any means but this year, I feel like it's going to be a lot harder, already because we're starting off with a couple of guys who are already injured. So after that, I'm going to go upgrade players. We only have one guy to upgrade, so that should be pretty easy, Devin Huffman. But yeah, I made a little mistake where I accidentally simmed the last um, preseason game. So we're technically already in the regular season, which not what I intentionally meant to do, but it's where we're at now. So I could say whatever I want at this part because this part's getting edited out anyway yeah all right so here we go we are back and i am ready to kick off the season so we're getting the ball first which i'm kind of hoping we do good especially for the first drive back so between preseason and all that reed frost and johnny howell are probably the two fastest guys on the team so we're going to keep them on kick return and i believe nicholas andrews is currently the punt returner which i may change i may try and put like ryan carry on back there and all that so yeah Anyway, we're going to start off the season just like we did last year. We're going to start off with a run. This year, my main goal is to try and get Bobby Harrison back to the way he was playing last year. Because if you guys remember, he had 1,500 yards. I'm kind of hoping... What I'm kind of hoping happens is that I can at least get three players to the Pro Bowl. Because we did... We got a lot last year. Who decent run by Bobby Harrison again. Yeah, we did fairly decent last year, but like we 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 weren't able to beat the Chargers in the Super Bowl because if you guys remember, they absolutely torched us, which was absolutely ridiculous, and I hated the fact that we lost as bad as we did to them. But at the end of the day, it is all fine. We're gonna try and make it back this season. Their first catches on the season. Nice pass from Colby Terry. I like it. I like the fact that our offense is doing decent again. It's kind of like starts off with the same pattern that we had last year where our offense was fairly balanced and we weren't giving up too much. Ah. So this play worked very well for us last year, getting us touchdowns and all that. A couple of guys I want to get into the pass game a lot more is Parker Hageman. We targeted him quite a bit last year, but we didn't do as much as I thought we were going to do with him. And then Carter Glass got like nothing last year, so we're going to... Oh, no. That's not good. That's not good. That's pretty bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, that's a way to start off the season. Okay. Ooh, this actually might be a decent play because there's no safety over the top. Ooh, go. Nicholas Andrews with the catch. Let's go. I believe that was about a 30-something yard return. Not even. That actually might have been more. But Nick Vincent had the yards and Gary Lynch didn't. So, yeah. Oh, he got absolutely cracked. That's not that's not the what you want to see from your running back. He's getting absolutely terrorized on the side. So over here on the right, we got Johnny Howell, the rookie, coming in, which is actually surprising. I don't see Zach Ray in yet. I'm going to try and get all my receivers in as much as I can, but from the way it looks... The receivers are going to be switched up because I like every single receiver that we have on the team right now, especially Zach Ray, because Zach Ray is probably the main reason we actually won playoff games last year. He he came back and won a lot for us, so we'll have to see how, how it ends up. And we get a touchdown pass for Nicholas Andrews. First touchdown on the season. Well, second season, if I stand by corrected. But yeah. We also only have one kicker on the roster now, and it's Josh Piercy, our guy from last year. I, I decided to keep one kicker. Currently, 
the linebackers are set as Cameron Michael, Devontae Nande, and Malik Mays. At left outside linebacker, as I said where Cameron Michael is, I want it to be 10. It's going to be a pass. He's going to, ooh, get a sack from Cameron Michael. Let's go. Quick adjust real quick. Oh, another sack. Let's go. Charles Sletchen to J.J. Rust. Whew. That's what I like to see, especially from both of our best pass rushers. My goal for the season is to get both of them to the Pro Bowl because we got J.J. Rust in last year. But Charles Sledge, on the other hand, we were not able to get into the Pro Bowl, which absolutely sucked. But you know what? It's fine. I don't know. We'll see. I'm still trying to figure out the kinks of how I want the sub and in sub out to work for all of our running backs. As we get a nice run here from Nick Vinson. In the preseason, Nick Vinson was doing pretty good, but you know. We'll see. As I said, there's a couple guys on the team that I like, and some of the guys can lose starting spots. I'll be honest. Like last year, as you guys saw, I benched Skylar Fry for Lester Butler. So I have no problem benching anybody, and I will. Even though that makes me sound like an absolute jerk, I will bench somebody if I don't think they're doing good. So yeah. Gonna see if we could get it to Cold's Edge, and if not, we're probably gonna check it down to Nick Vinson. Check down to Nick Vinson's gonna work the best right now. Just run out of bounds. Let's try and refrain from getting any injuries. I will, I'll make sure I'll remember everybody's names, especially the rookies and all that. Even though, as of right now, I don't think any rookies are actually starting. So I've seen a lot of Johnny Howell, but I've seen none of like Zach Ray. And speaking of Johnny Howell, there's a touchdown right that right here for him. So that's pretty good. Against an old Charger player, Jaleel Adai. We have Elijah Marshall now at cornerback, and then we have Laylon Hadley at safety. I mean, I thought if I was going to put anybody at safety, Laylon Hadley would be the... Ah, oh, Devontae Nande dropped the pick. No. That's not how I want the season to go. Third and three. I'm going to see if we can stop the run because I know exactly... Yep, I knew exactly what it was going to be. I don't think they got it. I think they're like an inch short. They are indeed. Probably going to fake the punt because that's what a lot of teams like to do is fake. I don't know. We'll see. Who should I hit? Oh, Parker Hageman maybe. Nice catch from Parker. I like it. He did pretty good last year when we had him in. He wasn't necessarily a runner for us, but he was a pass catcher, which I liked a lot from him. A quick little slant catch from Nicholas Andrews. We had a lot of that last year, but even with a lot of that happening last year, we came back and we won a lot of games, so yeah, not too worried. Ooh, we can carry Cole's edge here, and we might be able to get the touchdown, and we do indeed. Let's go. I've noticed that last year, you guys could see a little bit more of, is Willis Tiller. He had four picks, I believe, last year, and he was doing pretty good, especially for a backup safety. He was a lot better in coverage than both of our safeties, Elijah Marshall and Lester Butler. In all honesty, Lester Butler was fair, was a very good tackler, and then Elijah Marshall was very good in like run defense. We don't want to allow too much. Oh, nice tackle from Colby Summers. That was the quickest block shot I've ever seen a day in my life. We've kept Jarek McKenna into negative yards, so I mean... That's pretty good, because considering the fact that he's like an 80-something overall running back, that's pretty good, if you ask me. And there we get a sack from Damar Richard. That's another player I expect to do a lot better this year. He was fairly good last year, didn't make the Pro Bowl. But we could see a lot more of him, especially since he is a run-stopping defensive tackle. All right, so first and 10 with 14 seconds left in the second quarter. We're going to see if we can score. And if you're not, well, that's going to suck, but... Oh, it's another pick. Oh, no. That's not good. That's really not good. I mean, at the end of this quarter, they may be able to get a field goal, which will not be good. I'd rather them not, but, you know, when you're playing like trash, it's going to happen. And we do not get a block. We do not block the kick, and it is fine. We're still winning 21-10. to 10. I'm going to shift the defensive line to the left side. I'm going to put Malik Mays on a blitz. That's another guy that could potentially lose his starting job is Malik Mays. You know, he kind of, he's kind of underperformed a bit, and I don't really like the fact that he has underperformed. 
So if we cannot, if he cannot seem to do better than he did last year, then he's probably going to get benched. And a guy that I could see taking a starting spot over him is a is either rookie linebacker um, Jacobs, or we could potentially put um, Pershing Bunkley. And as I'm talking about linebackers, Devonte Nande, of course, gets an interception. Which is not new for us. He did that a lot last year. It saved us in a lot of a games. So, yeah. Okay, we're going to see if we can get the run game going again. It was looking decent in the first quarter. Well, the first half, if I should say. But, yeah, I'm trying to make this a more balanced offense. I don't want to be focused just on one type of scheme. I don't want to just be like a run offense. Another thing I want to try and work on is I don't want to always be running outside runs. I want to attempt to do inside runs a lot more because outside runs were definitely our go-to's but yeah Braden Bowman over here and we're gonna run it like immediately see if we get the outside break a couple tackles nice like eight yard gain I believe you know it was a seven yard gain which is still fine by me I don't care how many yards we get per run as long as our team is getting the yards, getting the first downs, I'm fine with it. Oh, we barely get tripped up by the shoelaces. We gain two, but I think it will be third and one, and it will indeed, which is fine by me. I don't expect us to get first downs every single time, even though I wish we could, but it is fine. So while I'm looking at right here, I may hit Cole Diage, I may hit Nick Vinson. It'll depend on who's more so open. Ooh, that was a bad throw. Never mind. Maybe it was not. Because no normal person would have ever thrown that in Madden. And we get a touchdown from Bobby Harrison. I like it a lot. So back what I was saying about the linebackers before Devontae Nani got the interception. Both of our outside linebackers can definitely be benched. And I would have no problem with it. That makes me sound like a horrible like coach slash owner of the team. But they're just not performing as well as some of our other linebackers. Like Devontae Nande, 97 overall. And as, as a rookie, he was a 97 overall. And at linebacker. Oh. I was trying to switch back and kind of like user with Devontae Nande. But I was not able to get there in time. Which is not hard to understand considering the fact that none of my linebackers should be able to keep up with a wide receiver with like 90 something speed because we tend to oh miss tackle from Lester Butler that's 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 unfortunate but a saved tackle from Leilon Hadley but you know you never know we will have to see And we get a sack as well. So we get a sack from Charles Sledge. And a... Oh, is that a combined with... That's either Colby Summers or Damar Richard. And I believe that's Damar Richard. I think we're doing a lot better than I thought we were going to do. I thought we were going to have a couple of troubles. Especially being the first game back. But yeah, we're looking fairly decent. So I'm not necessarily too worried as I thought I was. My reason exactly... Can somebody get this man? I was trying to signal a linebacker to go blitz, but never mind. As I believe their fullback will get a touchdown. My biggest problem is he is left-handed, and I'm going to have to get used to that. But until I get used to it, I feel like I'm going to struggle a bit. Just in case we may throw an interception, as we may hit Nicholas Andrews here. And we do indeed. That was a nice catch, especially in traffic. Zach Ray may actually be open on this play, and if not, then um, we may just take a sack. I'm not sure yet. Ooh, we may hit Zach Ray, and we do indeed. So the first touchdown of Jadavian Byram's career, first touchdown of the season for Zach Ray. It's a nice catch, too. So both Zach Ray and Johnny Howell both have their first touchdowns of the season, where Parker Hadrian and Nicholas Andrews, our two starters, do not. And then our running backs and Kerry Colsey Edge all have touchdowns, so I'm not I'm not too worried about the way the offense is looking this year. Defense just from this game is looking a little slower than they were last year, but I mean 
it's very understandable. I'm still working things out with certain players. So, yeah. As we get a tackle from the best defensive player on the team, our punter. So, we're going to cover through match. All right. This may be a catch for their for George Kittle. Ooh. Ooh. Nice tackle from Taven Conley. I was a little early with the tackle with Pershing Bunkley, but I mean it's understandable considering the fact that my tackling skills in this game are very, very low. So yeah. There's no way in the world that I'm benching Devontae Nande unless he gets injured. Or he fumbles an interception, which would be very very sad oh that's a nice pass breakup for Laylon Hadley I mean I wanted to keep Laylon Hadley at cornerback but you know Elijah Marshall wants to play cornerback and put him at cornerback but Laylon Hadley not doing too bad at safety he's done pretty good at tackling so far so I'm not too worried about him being at safety he is one of our smaller corners I'm saying that as if all of our corners aren't small Oh, there's an interception from Taven Conley. Let's return this. Let's go. Pick six. Let's go. We end the game here, and we get a pick six. Taven Conley, first defensive touchdown of the second season of the Toronto Thunderbirds all subscriber team. So for us, starting off pretty bad at the beginning of the se at the beginning of the season, not the beginning of the season, but the beginning of the quarter. We're stepping it up, especially our defensive line. As Charles Sledge gets his second sack already. I, I expect us to do very good, especially with the pass rushers that we have in J.J. Russ, DeMar Richard, Colby Summers, and Charles Sledge. I can't just say one name. They're all really good. So we don't need to worry about run committing because it's wrong. Ooh, as Dante Pettis jukes out, Pershing Bunkley, which is very, very unfortunate. Get three first downs is our goal, which I plan not to do. I plan on getting a first play touchdown right here real quick. Just to, like, show off what our quarterback can do. Oh, as we throw an interception. Okay. Ooh, as we have an injury timeout, too. Ooh, that's Morgan Brock. That's not good, you guys. That is our that is our number one offensive lineman. He is a, by far our best offensive lineman, no doubt. I will bring some of the guys from this team. Ooh, no, that's not good. Now uh, here come the 49ers. And it looks like muscle cramps will keep Morgan Brock out. He will he can return. Mm, do I want to risk it though? I don't really want to risk it, so we're not going to risk it. But you never know. We could fumble, they could come back and win, which would be very unfortunate, but I'm trying not to do that. To get about a five yard carry maybe four from bobby harrison who isn't looking too bad for ba this being his first game back especially after the off season but we will see oh okay now they're now they're bringing the heat they're trying to win they are trying to win we're gonna go with a run with nick vincent real quick I mean, we could end off the game if we get a first down. But, I mean, we'd need to get a first down, and I'd rather run the ball to try and get a first. And we do, indeed, so it doesn't matter, regardless. Which we could just kneel the ball a couple times, let the clock run out, and then it should be game over. But you know what? There's no fun in that. I mean, it doesn't really matter, in my personal opinion. You know, it is a whatever. Do got a defender right there. Get to about 24. Now we could probably just kneel the ball. I mean, I don't really see a point in continuously running it. That's just stack padding. But, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's kind of game over. We're going to wait till the clock hits up around. Whatever time our play clock is pretty much gone. 19. And we could probably run it now. And broom. Ooh, as we get a nice carry from Bobby Harrison. All right, so some stats from the game. We're just going to look at our stats. 
So Colby Terry and J Jadavian Byram did pretty good. Jadavian Byram 75% and Colby Terry 81%. Although he did throw two interceptions, he still threw two, three touchdowns, which was pretty good. Bobby Harrison, Nick Vincent looking fairly decent. They're both doing a little bit better than last year. Nicholas Andrews did good. Kerry Colsey Edge did all right. Johnny Hale got his first touchdown. was pretty cool. Zach Gray was decent. I wish I could have gotten him the ball a bit more. Just all around, everybody who actually played today did fairly good. We got one sack from Derek Grady, which is unfortunate, but, you know, I expected it. Devontae Nande is Devontae Nande. Pershing Bunkley actually came second place in leading the team with tackles, which is pretty cool. Then sacks. Here's where the fun happens. So we got two from Charles Sledge, one and a half from Namar Richard. We got one from Cameron Michael. Then we got half a sack from J.J. Russ. Then interceptions, we got Taven Conley. We had a 40-something yard pick six, I believe. Yep, 49-yard pick six, and Vontae Nande had a pick. So, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys jo enjoyed the, believe, fourth episode of the Toronto Thunderbirds All-Subscriber Team. Um, I am going to keep these into videos. I will live stream every once in a while, but I don't know if it will be on the Toronto Thunderbirds. But, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, everyone.